What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We are here. Season 11 has officially wrapped. We got through it. You guys submitted questions about the season and sneaker shopping in general, and I'm here to answer them. So let's get right to them. The first question, what was your favorite moment of season 11? Besides all the charity aspects of season 11, Jaden Smith dropping off 300 pairs of New Balance to Skid Row, and HBCU getting 20 plus pairs of the special edition Converse Chuck Taylors from the Vice President-elect Kamala Harris episode, it had to be Drewski crashing Jack Harlow's episode in LA. Hey man, let me tell you something, hey. Financial literacy and, and spending your money and all, it's not about Here you go, bro. Here you go. He crashed the episode at the checkout scene, a really hilarious moment. He did it on the spot. Those guys, Jack Harlow and Drewski, very, very close friends. We had no idea that it was going to happen. That was definitely unexpected, but really one of my favorite moments of season 11. He didn't, he didn't pay for these? He, no, he didn't pay for them. Come on. Someone asks, what historical figure who was no longer with us would you have loved to take sneaker shopping? Definitely would be DJ AM. DJ AM was a very serious sneaker collector back in the days, and he was really showing up to red carpet events with sneakers on the red carpet. He was one of the first to do it. We talked to Ben Baller on the Complex Sneakers podcast, and he conveyed how serious of a collector DJ AM was. There was that classic, iconic entourage scene where they go to Undefeated and DJ AM beats out Turtle for the special edition Air Force Ones. And you could see pictures online of DJ AM's collection. He was a very, very knowledgeable collector. He would have been such such a great person to have on the show, and I couldn't imagine all the stories he would have about specific sneakers that he had in his collection. Someone asked, if Jordan allowed you to create a sneaker, what silhouette would you choose? I think anyone who knows me knows that it would be the Jordan 4. The Jordan 3 used to be my favorite for many years, but I really think that the Jordan 4 has now taken its spot as my favorite Jordan. I wear the Black Hat 4s a lot. You guys see them on episodes a lot. I think even in 2021, there's an episode that I'm wearing the Black Hat 4s on. I love these Rare Air Laser 4s. And if I was to ever collaborate with Jordan, I would push for a Jordan 4. Definitely my favorite Jordan silhouette right now. I got a lot of questions about my grails. What's my current sneaker grail? What is one that I'm chasing? It definitely has to be the Mars Yard 1.0. I have the Mars Yard 2.0. I think there's another drop coming in 2021, but the Mars Yard 1.0, it has that shiny, almost gauzy type of toe box. Super, super expensive. That is one sneaker that has escaped me. I've been checking, but the prices are astronomical. It was such a limited release, it set off the Tom Sachs Mars Yard lineage of awesome sneakers. And that Mars Yard 1.0 is definitely a sneaker that has escaped me that if anyone out there has a good price, definitely leave it in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. Someone asked if you had to keep one pair of white sneakers in your current rotation, what would it be? Definitely be these G-Dragon Air Force Ones, the sequel to the black ones that he dropped in 2019. These wear off. So as you can see, they're wearing a tiny bit and colors come to the surface. So even though I don't wear white sneakers, these may have to be an exception to be in the rotation, especially because I could beat them up. Someone asked, is there ever a chance that a regular person can be on an episode of Sneaker Shopping? Absolutely. Once a season, we are trying to do a fan episode. A few weeks back, we had Joel Galarza Jr., a great episode this season that featured him and his dad. They were talking about how they connected through sneakers, but watch out for the end of each season. We're gonna solicit video submissions. We get hundreds of submissions. We dig through them. And if your story resonates with us, there's a good chance that you could be featured on your own episode of Sneaker Shopping. Someone asked, do you ever buy sneakers in stores when you're filming an episode? Yes. This season, especially season 11 for Polo G, I bought the Samba Dunks right before. A lot of times what happens is when we're traveling and we're not in New York, I pack light and sometimes I pack too light that I run out of sneakers for the number of shoots that we have. So I have to buy sneakers on set. Before we shoot, I get to the store a little early and I browse the shelves and see what I'm gonna wear. And then kind of related, at the end of shooting, I think we did six episodes that week in LA and we did doubles. I really wanted to have something to take home and remember that week because it was more than half of our season of shoots and I actually got the Tiffany Dunk Soul Stage had a size 11 and a half sitting there and the whole week on the shelves, I was just eyeing it and eyeing it. And since we had such great shoots that week in LA, I decided to get these and I got a pretty good price. Shout out to Soul Stage for it. But yeah, the Tiffany Dunks, I brought them home from that LA trip. 
Someone asked, why do you take the celebrities to the most expensive sneaker stores? Very good question. The main answer is that the consignment stores have such a big selection that sometimes when the celebrities get in the store and they see an old Jordan or an old Air Max or an old Adidas model that they may not have thought about, but then seeing it, they remember, it brings up memories that they could talk about on the show. It happens all the time. And even though we love shooting in retail stores, a lot of times the models are limited. The consignment stores, they have sneakers that are literally there for over two decades. Another question that people ask all the time in the comments is the pricing. What you guys have to understand is there's a lot of nuance when it comes to pricing. One that sticks out, the What The Fives that Polo G bought this season, those weren't out yet, so the price is always going to be higher. Then they released, and I think the resale market, they kind of went down. But again, he bought them early, so of course the price is going to be higher. I know that the pricing and at the end, there's always comments about it, but what you guys need to understand, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Someone asked, what's the most worn sneaker in my collection right now? Definitely these Akron Prestos. I keep them by the door. As you guys could see, they've been through a lot. The zippers and these back tags are broken. Look at the soles. We'll get a close-up of the soles. They are my by-the-door sneakers when I'm walking around. These are what I wear the most, and I've worn them for years. But it shows how durable they are. Even though they've been crazy worn and a lot of stuff on them are broke, they still look in pretty good shape. Sole coming apart. They're still very comfortable. It's a very, very durable shoe. Definitely one of my favorites of the past few years and definitely one that I wear nonstop. A lot of you guys asked what was the craziest pickup I had of 2020. Definitely had to be these Cactus Plant Flea Market Dunks. The all crystal upper, when the light hits it, changes colors. I don't know how I'm going to wear these, but I am so happy I have these in the collection. Definitely a crazy pair to end 2020 with.